Hi guys, so this is my 25 to 26 week update, I believe. Is that right? I think my last one was 24 weeks. 23 and 24, so this is 25 and 26. Um, basically, I think I'm going to start doing these every two weeks instead of every week because right now there's just not a lot going on, not a lot happening. Um, but let's see. So I look like crazy poopy today. Um, totally didn't feel like getting ready and it's so weird. Um, my face has been going crazy and it is so weird it's so unlike me as a lot of you guys know if you watch my beauty channel you know that I have gosh my ugh, it's so weird having humongous boobs <laughs> anyways if you watch my beauty channel you know that I have usually I have really like clear skin like my skin's always really clear um, I just don't really suffer from breakouts I just don't like I usually can put anything on my face and my face is fine I get like one pimple every once in a while but I never get like multiple pimples on my face or my skin's like not bumpy or anything it's just kind of it's just clearish so and it's always been like that ever since I was young like I've never really suffered from breakouts but all of a sudden like it was a couple days ago I took my makeup off and all of a sudden I had all these bumps like right here by my nose on my chin and like between my eyebrows on my forehead and they were like Right here it was like all red and bumpy, like it was like a humongous breakout, like it looked like it was almost like a rash or something and I was like this is so weird and so unlike me because that never happens and that's how much it surprised me and um, the weird part about it was is that it happened like literally within like 12 hours, like the day before my face was perfectly clear and perfectly fine, no bumps, nothing and literally the next day my face was just like just broken out insane and I don't know if it's pregnancy if it's my hormones I, I looked online and they said that you know a lot of people deal with pregnancy acne but it usually comes at the beginning of the pregnancy and then goes away at around like 20 weeks or so but I'm like 26 weeks and mine like just started and it just happened overnight so I don't know if it's like stress and hormones because I've been like extremely stressed out lately so I'm thinking it might be stress and hormones together that are kind of causing it so I have been wearing like really light makeup I've been wearing my mineral makeup a lot and just trying to like lighten up on my foundation and stuff because I think that might be the problem. Um, so let me know if anyone else struggled with like really bad pregnancy acne or whatever, um, especially if you didn't have acne before. Like that's what I find really, really weird. So that's one thing that I've been struggling with the last couple of days is just all of a sudden my face is just not cooperating and it's driving me crazy. Um, as far as the baby. Um, she's been kicking a lot, like, seriously, they're so much stronger, and it's like, instead of, like, kicks, like, you know, like, punching kicks, like, before it felt like she was just kind of going like this, now it's like she's, like, pushing on my stomach, and, like, I can actually feel her little feet, like, pushing, and, like, if I look at my stomach, like, especially at night, she's very, very active at night, like, right before I go to bed, like, literally my stomach is, like, moving around, like, in a little alien stomach. It's the weirdest looking thing ever and like Travis actually got to stop got to see it I was like Travis come here hurry and he just sat there and my stomach was like moving around like an alien was in my stomach and it was really really a cool thing and he actually put his hand on my stomach and got to feel her move for like a really long period of time it wasn't just like one kick here and there it was just like constant like she was just like super super excited about something I don't know what it was but it's very different feeling now. It's more of like I can actually feel her moving around rather than just like punching me in the stomach, which is cool. I like that a lot. Um, but I haven't felt hiccups yet. A lot of people say I should be feeling hiccups soon, and that is yet to happen, I think. Um, people say it's very like continuous, and I don't know. I haven't really felt that. I mean, I'm sure I will eventually, but so far I haven't felt the hiccups yet, but I heard that's a pretty cool feeling. I finally registered, which is a really good thing because I was putting registering off like crazy. Like, I like registering for things, but at the same time, like, when you have never been a mom and never had a baby, like, you don't know what to register for. And, like, I was seriously, like, there's so many bouncers and swings and cribs and strollers and carriers and all these things, and I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to know what bouncer to get or what swing to get you know what I mean like it just overwhelmed me going on these sites and looking at all these different things I was like I seriously have no clue what's the best thing and what's the worst thing and so I was gonna wait and do it with my mom so she could like tell me what would be good to get but finally I just had to sit down at my computer and just do it and be like you know what I don't know if these are gonna be good I don't know if it's 
going to be good for Elena, if she's going to like it, if she's not going to like it. I just need to read the reviews and pick out things that look cool to me <laughs> because I'm seriously not going to know if I'm going to like it or if I'm not going to like it or if Lane is going to like it. So basically I just sat at my computer for like a whole day and just was like reading reviews and stuff and picked out things that I think will be good for her. I don't know. Um, some people have some opinions on things. Some people have other opinions. So it's like I just had to like follow my gut about what I think looked good, you know. So I finally got that done, which is really good. And my baby shower is in, I think it's June 5th is my baby shower so I'm really excited for that I still don't have my furniture in her room or anything like that so it's gonna be nice actually getting things like getting her comforter and stuff like that getting a crib and a stroller and getting all that stuff like ready because yeah I feel like I don't have really very much stuff ready so um other than that I've just been really busy with other things like I've had lots of weddings booked I've had um like literally every weekend this summer for me is booked out with something that I have to do like every single weekend and I have been so stressed out and so I've been trying to like calm myself down a little bit because I know stress probably isn't really good for the baby and you know yeah and I've just been stressed out <laughs> so yeah so I need to just kind of chill out and hang out a little bit I'm going up to Seattle next weekend for a bachelorette party which is gonna be so much fun I'm so excited for that and, uh, I mean, it's going to be a little bit different for me because I am pregnant going to a bachelorette party. You know, I can't really drink. I can't dance like I would normally. Like, it's going to be a lot different being at a bachelorette party pregnant than it would be not pregnant. But it's still going to be fun hanging out with my friends and shopping and things like that. So, it's going to be fun. I don't really get the whole craving thing. Sometimes I think cravings are, like, a woman's excuse to eat whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't know if I really believe in the whole craving thing. Maybe it's because I haven't had any weird cravings yet, but like, you know, everything that I have really wanted and have been eating a lot is things that I already liked. You know what I mean? But it's like now I can actually eat them because I'm pregnant and I don't have to think about it as much. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just feel like craving sometimes with pregnant women, it's like a like mental thing. Like, I really like cookies. And I'm craving cookies like so bad I'm like craving them but it's like I just want cookies and I'm pregnant so I can have cookies you know what I'm saying I don't know I just kind of sometimes think that with cravings oh yes duh um I got a pregnancy massage for my birthday me and my mom went I got her a massage for Mother's Day and she got me one for my birthday and it was a pregnancy massage and I was actually really gonna like really interested in seeing how it was gonna be and what it was gonna be like it was really really nice um if you are pregnant and you're achy, your back sore, anything like that, I would definitely recommend a pregnancy massage. They feel really, really good. And you lay on your stomach, which I know sounds weird, but they have like this pillow that um, has like a hole in it. Like it's like a pillow that's like shaped like your body. Like it has like a place for your boobs to go. And then it has like a hole where your belly goes. And then you just lay on it. And it seriously is really comfortable. Like, I was like, is that going to even be comfortable laying on my stomach with my belly going into a hole? That just seems weird. And I know that sounds really weird, but it was actually really comfortable and really nice. So I would definitely recommend pregnancy massages for you guys um, if you are pregnant. They feel really good. And it was just a nice little change up. And it was so relaxing. And yeah, so that was really nice pretty much it. I guess I'll show you guys my belly and I'll take you into the back room as well to show you kind of what else we've done. We hung up some curtains and stuff like that but I don't think we've done that much to it so. Alright guys so this is me from the front and I don't know how pregnant I look from the front but then as soon as I turn to the side this is me from the side. I'm still carrying really low like down here which I find funny. Um, I see a lot of pregnant girls and they're like they carry they're carrying really high like up here by their boobs. But I'm still really low, so, yeah, but I still feel like I've gotten a lot bigger. Alright guys, so this is her bedroom. Um, you guys have seen all this, but we added these curtains, which I need to steam better because I ironed them, but they still look all wrinkled and gross. But yeah, we hung up these purple curtains, and they block out noise, and they block out light really well. So that's why we got those ones, but we got them at Walmart, so. Um, but they're really cute. They're purple, but that's pretty much all we've done to the room since you guys have seen it last, but coming together now we just need to get the crib and all that kind of thing all right guys so that's pretty much it and i will talk to you guys soon for my next one which will be in about two weeks or so so i'll talk to you guys soon bye